Hello again, welcome back. Something slightly different tonight. And this is from my Beer Bods box. And it's called Summer of 21. And it's from Small Beer Company. And this is it's an IPA. English style IPA. And it's 2.3% ABV. It's a table beer. A small beer. So it's a small beer IPA. Packed with all the characteristics you'd expect from a classic IPA. And brewed using only the finest British grown hops and malt. This organic beer is naturally lower in alcohol and calories. So you won't miss a moment of this long awaited summer. In a world of so many extremes, worrying about what you drink doesn't have to be one of them. Ingredients, water, organic malted barley, organic oats, organic hops and yeast. So, it's a 350ml can, ABV 2.3%. The original small beer company. So, a table beer is what they would have drunk many medieval times, you know, for steady water. Even the kids would have drunk something like this. It's brewed in London, uh, Bermondsey. So, store upright, pour gently. I'm a very gentle chap, actually. So, let's crack it open and see what it's like. I have had a table line. Oh, that is very active. Let's get that into the glass. Now, I've taken it from the fridge to the, the counter, so it's not had a lot of movement. And there was a lot of activity when I opened it, and yet there's not a lot of activity on the poor. Well, there you go. And that has got barely a fingernail of head. I love the artwork on that small beer. Let's have a look at the colour. It's quite a... It's darker than I thought it would be. It's like a... A pale amber, would you call that? Or the medium amber. Let's create a head. Release the aromas. Now that is the perfect head, finger head, tight packed, mousse like, foam, white, creamy, let's have a, oh wow, it's more malty than hoppy, it's like Toffee, it's like caramel, fruit fly. You know a beer's good when the fruit flies start coming to it. Yeah, that is very toffee-like uh, smell. It's really nice. Uh, taste. I knew there was something I'd forgotten. Cheers, my dears. Yeah. I was going to say it's more malty than hoppy, but it's not. I think it's, a, it's, a bit, it's balanced. It's... I am getting that surprisingly caramel-like, toffee-like maltiness. But there is that bitterness, the resinous um, hoppiness. When I say hoppiness, I mean like piney, resinous, bitter. Not a great deal of like fruit or citrus. There's not, I can't pick anything up with that. 
it's mainly malt on the nose. You know, I can't pick out any f fruity flavours or I mean, there's no there's no orange or grapefruit or any tropical fruits or well, it's, it's an English IPA, so you're not going to get that. But there's no there's no specific citrusy flavours or anything like that. It's, that's an odd one, no? Excuse me, I'm going to wake that up. I don't know if that's OCD, but that's bugging me. There we go. It wasn't annoying me, but it was a slight niggle, it just annoys me. Well, it wasn't annoying me then. The cap is just the same as the label. Small beer. I love it, man. Love it. Right, anyway. Let's have a quick look on Untapped to see what they say. Fingerprint not recognised because my hand's away, I think. So it's it's called Summer of 21 and it's from the Small Beer Brew Company. IP English, 2.3% ABV. IBU not available. And there, and it's a microbrewery in South Bermondsey in London. Uh, packed with all the characteristics you'd expect from a classic IPA, and brewed using only the finest, it's the same as the, the label, brewed using only the finest British grown hops and malt. This organic beer is naturally low in alcohol and calories, so you won't miss a moment of this long awaited summer. In a world of so many extremes, worrying about what you drink doesn't have to go on. The descriptors are light, hoppy, biscuity, malty, bitter. I think that's fair. Uh, biscuity. It's more, it's more malty than hoppy. It's more like a golden ale or something. Uh, uh, added bitterness. It's actually very pleasant beer. You couldn't tell it was only 2.3%. It tastes just like an IPA. Although, a, a malty IPA. We'll go through the sheet quickly. And we'll do the colour, which is probably a 6 or something like that. Shine the light through it, just on the lowest setting. Through the neck, the, the stem, sorry, and then the main body, just to give you a rough idea of the colour. I'm going to say it's a, a 6, like a light amber, 7, something like that. The clarity is pretty clear actually. There's a, a very slight heat, is there? Or is that just the, the condescension? I've not used that joke for a while, have I? I'm going to say there's a very slight haze. The colour of foam head retention. Did I put all that in? I did. What? Three, four, five drips. Every little counts. Uh, I'm going to say it's a moderate. Foam texture is thin, it's very interrupted. Let's see a bit of lacing. Yeah. Because there's no, there's no much to it sort of a thing. That's, you're not going to get a lot of lacing. The aroma, alcohol, not detectable. Oh, the carbonation was, was medium. Slow to medium. There was a few bubbles rising. Alcohol not detectable. The hops. Try picking a hop out of that, I don't know. It's not even... It's not fruity, it's not floral. No, I'm going to say none. I'll have to write that in. The malt, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting caramel. It's like that that range. The esters, so I'm looking for a fruity. It's sort of like a bit plum. It's like a like a like the rich, the richer fruits, the darker fruits. 
bit subdued, you know. I was a bit plump. The alcohol flavour and aftertaste, alcohol not detectable. The hot flavour, I'm going to see none. Well, there is a slight bitterness. Yeah, I'm getting up that, that. So I'm going to say like resinous. There's no citrus, there's no fruity or floral or herbal or spicy or tropical, nothing like that. The hot bitterness, I'm going to say it's moderate. Because there is that edge there. The malt flavour is different to the nose. Well, it's about the same. I'm going to say the caramel. That's what it's like. For an IPA. The malt sweetness, I will say it's medium. Palate astringency is low. The body is drying. Palate carbonation is low. The length... The medium here is classes up to 60 seconds. Yeah, I will say it's no longer than 60 seconds. I'll say medium. Balance of drinkability desirable, style appropriate. It is an IPA. And it's what, 2.3%? What was it say it was? Yeah, it's 2.3%. You couldn't tell it was 2.3%. You put that side by side with other English style IPAs, you couldn't tell that was 2.3%. Because it's, it's, got, it's got a bit of body to it. It's a, it's a medium body. It's a very nice beer. The, uh, the score, what were they, what were they giving on here? An average of 300, 305 check-ins with an average score of 3.18, which is 6.236. I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. It's a nice beer, it's pleasant. If you had a lunch or something, you were going back to work, this would be perfect. You know, there's a place for every beer. If I'm going to say you could have it if you were driving, but you couldn't. Because, especially in Scotland, the drink and drive laws are very strict. I think the, the, the legal limit for alcohol in your blood is something like 50 milligrams or something. It's like you can't even have one drink, basically. It's just it's no, it's a zero tolerance. Don't drink and drive. So, but if you're what stage, if you've got to work the next day or something, you will fancy a beer and without any effects, and it's better than a, a, a zero alcohol beer. I don't know. Put that in the comments. Have you ever had a decent zero alcohol beer? I, I haven't tasted one yet. They're okay, but there's, it's no, it's, it's not beer in my anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Thumbs up. It's very nice, sir. Uh.